Another major myth that runs through New Brunswick provincial elections is about voter turnout. And it says 198,000 people did not vote in the last provincial election. Then we get into issuing blame. Why don't they just get off their butts and go vote? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with young people? Why can't they participate? And it goes on and on and on. But you have to do a bit of digging to find where the solution would be. And here's what I've learned so far. It turns out, according to Jean-Claude Basque of the Common Front for Social Justice, that roughly 100,000 people or more live under the poverty line. Those people are so disenfranchised, so outside the loop when it comes to participating in elections, that they need help. They need an extra hand. They need guidance for how to get to the voting booth. So of the 198,000, there's roughly 100,000 people accounted for, not because they don't want to, not because they don't care, but because they're so distanced from the process and feel so disempowered that they don't feel part of it. It's our job to make them feel included and part of it. There's one of the changes that needs to happen. The second has to do with young people between the ages of 18 and 30. Supposedly, they don't go out and vote much. But have you ever talked to a young person and asked them, did they ever teach you civics, social studies, Canadian government, in high school? And so far, from my experience, the answer has been no. I was a candidate in 2003 in Fredericton Nor North, at that time, Fredericton North, yes. And I spoke to 180 first-time voters at a Leo Hayes High School. When we had a chance to chat informally, I asked them, when's the last time you were taught this in school? They came back with, grade nine, six week course in civics. They didn't remember any of it when it came time to actually go vote. I've been asking consistently the past three or four months, any young person I can find, when was the last time anyone taught you about how to engage in the voting process? Blanks. Somewhere along the way, we the adults, we the ones over 50, have let down those people and we failed in our responsibility to help teach them how to participate in the process. So another change that needs to happen in this election is that the older generation needs to take the younger generation under their wing and help ensure that they engage in the process. Help them get to the polling station, help them understand what the vote means and have some sense of what the choices are. Those two things alone could help change the voter turnout, which in turn would change how we feel about our province and how we're engaged with the process. That's how I see it. Thanks for watching. Be good. Have fun. Love each other.